Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here is another pretty easy question from the Putnam exam back in 1994. I wasn't even born yet. Just kidding. Anyway, here we have the question. AN being a sequence of positive reals so that AN is less than or equal to A2N plus A2N plus 1 for ON. And the question is, does AN converge? Well, as always, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, hopefully you guys have a chance to try it, and the answer to this right here is no. This right here diverges. And of course, don't just say the series of AN diverges because it does not converge. Don't do that, right? Anyway, we have to provide a proof for this. And let's see how we can make the argument for that. Hmm, it's weird because we don't really have a formula for AN. We only have inequalities. And remember, there is a famous question that uses inequality to prove a series diverges, and that is the harmonic series, right? And in fact, I did that for my 100 series video. That's the first question. So if you haven't seen that, be sure you guys go check that out. In fact, it's going to be very similar, and you know we'll do the following. So here we go. Let me just write down, hey, we have the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of a n, Although we don't have the explicit formula whatsoever, but we do have the inequality. And let me just write down some terms and we'll see what happens. So let me just write down a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 plus a6 plus a7 plus dot dot dot. I think it should be enough. Now, we are going to make some observation and see how we can really use this inequality. This is true for O n, so perhaps let's do it like this. When we have n equals 1, put it here, put it here, put it here, we get a1 is less than or equal to a2 plus a3, isn't it? Right? Putting 1, putting 1, it just worked out. So we do have this little inequality. a1 is less than this. Of course, we can look at this backwards. a2 plus a3 will be greater than that. And of course, a2 and a3, they are right here. Good, so check this out. Next, we can just write a1 here, but we can merge them and say, hey, they are going to be a1. The comparison is, this is going to be bigger, right? Together, this is bigger, and of course, we can change the whole thing to be a greater than right there, and I'll put down a plus in between. And let's just write down a few more. So if n is equal to 2, we will have a2 is less than or equal to a, 4 and a5. <laughs> so a4 plus a5. And of course, we see that a4 and a5, they are right here. So now we again look at the backward, but this time we have to write down. This right here is plus, they are bigger than a2. Alright? And perhaps let's do it again. Next one is going to be when n is equal to 3, and we will end up with less than or equal to a. 6 plus a7. Um, the small thing is that because the inequality is less than or equal to, so technically I should put down a greater than or equal to, right? But it's still going to work anyway. Right here, look at the backwards. You see this right here, it's going to be a3. And again, we add. And you can imagine that this right here, the next one, when you pair them up, it will be a4, bigger than a4, as you say, and then plus bigger than a5, and so on, so on, so on. Now, can we do it again? Sure, because you see, a2, a3, a4, a5. So you can just kind of combine them together each every time. This right here is going to be greater than or equal to a1, and this right here is greater than or equal to a2, and the next one is going to be greater than or equal to a3, and together here it's going to be greater than or equal to a1 again. So, in fact, I think this is pretty clear now. We can just come here and say, all this right here is greater than or equal to just a bunch of a1 plus a1 plus a1 plus da 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 forever. And in fact, I don't really know the official rule. I think when you show enough work like this, maybe it's enough to, to present this as your solution. Right? Anyway. 
we have, we're not done yet, okay? This is a series, and we end up with this. And the key is, we are just adding up infinitely many A1s. And you have to know that AN is a sequence of positive reals, so A1 is not equal to zero. In another word, when you add a bunch of the A1, namely infinitely many A1s, this is going to give us infinity because A1 is in fact greater than zero because it's a sequence of positive reals, I should have said that, right? So include that, and you can also say this by the test of divergent in that sense, but you know it's okay. This right here should be infinity, just put an equal sign to infinity. That should be pretty good. Therefore, this right here, I'll just put on thus, the series, n goes from 1 to infinity, a n, diverges, and we're done. Put a box, and shading. So good.